What's going on y'all, Josh Miller here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about how to set up a podcast room. I have had the opportunity to set up a few podcast rooms and I've got one that's extremely special. I think it's got a really cool vibe to it. So we're gonna be talking about how to set one up either for yourself or for a client, but how to do it and how to do it well. All right, so here's the things we are covering today. Lighting, composition, audio, gear, and just the overall vibe. All right, so first things first, I decided I wanted to go really nice and contrasty with this podcast room. I didn't want to be, you know, bright and, and shiny. So I took two Aperture 200Xs and put them on uh, some scissor mounts. And scissor mounts are super dope pieces of equipment. You uh, can clamp them onto a grid of a drop ceiling and then it's got a baby pin on it so that you can hang a light from it. So I put that on the ceiling, put the apertures on that and also put a Aperture Light Dome Mini on that with a grid to really be able to focus it. And I put them in this in these spots because I wanted them to act as a key light and also as a hair light. Uh, and the way that you do that is, you know, you position it in a nice spot that it gives it, it's at a three quarter angle and it hits the host's face at, uh, at and acts as a key light, but it also hits the back of the guest's head and gives a nice little hair light. So it actually serves two purposes. Next up, I took two Quasar tubes and uh, I set them to red, it kind of just fit the overall vibe of the podcast more, and uh, put those along the floor to give a nice uplight onto the backdrop. And that was, that added a whole new dimension to this. And then lastly, I actually didn't do it in this exact podcast room, but when we redid this room, we actually moved it to a different location. We added a aperture, another aperture 200D, and put a uh, aperture lantern on it and put that overhead in front of, kind of in front of them, like almost right above camera. And that just acted as a fill light just to bring up the contrast a little bit. I didn't want it as contrasty. And uh, that, I actually liked that a lot. I really like the way that that looks. And again, I used a uh, scissor mount and put that on the ceiling. And then all of the cords, I just ran them through the ceilings because it's a drop ceiling, you can move the tiles, run everything and then it just, it's clean. There's no wires hanging down. It's just a clean, clean look. So when putting this room together, I wanted to be able to put as much depth into this room as possible. And so we actually decided to shoot into the corner of the room and then have the desk coming straight out from the middle. And then on one wall, I'll, I'll get to it in here in a minute, but uh, it's actually these panels that are right here on my wall, but we put an entire wall on that side and then uh, the hosts had a bunch of really cool click funnel awards that we put on the other side of the wall. And so it really, it was a nice, like lots of leading lines and a lot of depth. And so whenever you're composing your podcast, you know, in the world that we live in, podcasts are not just audio anymore. Podcasts are visual. You know, you're gonna cut them up into 30, 90 second bits and put those on social media to drive traffic to your podcast or to, you know, the person that you're doing the work for. So you want it to be visually stunning as well. And so that's number two is focus on the composition of the podcast room. And number three is audio. Obviously it's a podcast, so you need the audio to be nice and crispy. So we decided to go with the Shure SM7B podcast mics. It's pretty industry standard. You see everybody uh, using those and you can either put it on a stand or you can put it on an arm. We have the Rode um, arms, just podcast arms, put it on there and then XLR off of that. And then for the interface, we are using the Rode po po Procaster. Uh, and just running those both into there. And then along that line, we are actually using the cloud lifters and that's a preamp. A preamp is just gonna take the gain of the microphone and boost it up and it just helps reduce noise. You don't have to crank up the gain on your uh, you know, uh, interface as much to have everything sound at, you know, optimal level. In my opinion, it's necessary. You don't need it for it to work, but I think it, it makes a world of a difference of it sounding really, really good. And along with audio, you know, you, you can have the best microphone in the world, but if your podcast room does not have some sort of sound treatment, 
it's gonna sound terrible still. You're gonna get lots of reverb. So uh, on the right side of the wall, we actually decided to go with these really dope, and I again, I have them right here. These are uh, wood panels from the woodveneer.com. Um, they are awesome. So it's wood paneling on the outside, and then it actually has uh, a acoustic foam on the back side of it. And so it really, it not only is it beautiful, but it also really brings the noise down in the room. So we put that all on the right side of the wall, and then we put a neon sign on the wall. Uh, it's a fake neon sign, it's just LED strips, but a neon sign on that side. And uh, then throughout the room, we put um, these big sound panels and some uh, you know, just sound treatment throughout the room to be able to bring reverb down and just make it sound crispy. So do not forget about sound treatment. It will make a world of a difference. And by the way, I will actually have links uh, for all of this stuff. If you go down into the description below, uh, I've got an Amazon store front that you can find all this stuff and I have everything linked in there. So go check that out. You're not gonna be, you know, just trying to find it yourself. Next up is talking about gear. So we talked a little bit about gear already with the microphone and the Procaster, but next I wanna talk about um, cameras, I guess specifically, you know, cameras. And like I said, in the world that we live in, with, with social media, a podcast can go so much further if you visually capture it. And so for this room, we actually had a three camera setup. So we had the Sony A1 as our main camera. That was our main wide camera. And then we had two Sony FX3s as our uh, A and B camera for the two angles, the two side angles. And uh, I think on each one of those, on the main, on the middle camera, we had a 16 to 35, and then the two outside cameras, 24 to 70s, and would just, you know, get that in a nice position to uh, compose nicely for a 16 by nine, but also for a nine by 16 for social media. All right, and then last but not least, you wanna know what the overall vibe is of your podcast. The, uh, the client that this was for, his name's Jeremiah Evans, and we wanted everything to feel um, very contrasty and moody. Uh, this is a very serious podcast about entrepreneurship and um, you know just a lot of different things. So I wanted, again, I wanted those lights to be in a certain position to give a nice contrast on the face. But then, like I said, I put red lights along the bottom. We painted the entire room black. Uh, the wood paneling was a nice, you know, this color. I just, that was, that just seemed to be the right vibe for that. But you just, you wanna have a good vibe. And then also, how are you seating the host and the guest? Are they sitting in chairs? Is it more of a relaxed vibe? Or are you sitting at like a table? And, and like in this case, we actually, we did a table in the middle of the room, had the, the two arms for the podcast mics coming out and they were facing each other and they were talking straight to each other. And it was, it just has a more, I don't know, professional vibe to it or whatever you call it. And just more serious vibe. You, you need to assess what the vibe is of of the podcast and then make decisions based off of that, not just make a dark, dark and moody podcast for something that should not be that way. So thanks for watching. Like I said, I will have everything linked down below, including the wood panels that we used. Uh, I don't know where we got the LED sign, so I don't know about that, but I'm sure you can find that super easy on Etsy or just a Google search. And uh, yeah, I'll link everything down below for you. I, if you have any questions, please put them down below or follow me on Instagram as well and shoot me a DM. I'm more than happy to, to help out. And uh, if you're an entrepreneur or a business person or somebody that wants to do a podcast, and need some help with it, reach out. More than happy to help you get it set up and come make a podcast studio for you if that's what you're wanting. So thanks again for watching. Subscribe if you haven't, like this video, and a lot more content coming out, guys. I'm, I'm excited for this year. I, I love giving information away and talking about the things that I'm doing and helping other people do the same thing and hopefully they do it better than I do. So have a good rest of your day. Um.